So the access point can tell very quickly uh, the packets are lost in noise. And it will just uh, retransmit them from the buffer. So in other words, it's keeping, remember the, uh, the access point, uh, as it acknowledges the TCP packets, it's keeping the packet in its own buffer for a certain period of time. If any of those are lost, um, basically those are kept until they're properly acknowledged by the mobile node. And if any of those uh, packets are lost over this wireless link, uh, they can just be simply retransmitted from the buffer. <coughs> so the TCP connection, is not affected by packet loss, by wireless link packet loss. Because those packets are acknowledged by the access the access point has already sent the acknowledgement back, so if any of these packets are lost, this link doesn't care about that. So the TCP connection is isolated. So it seems like a fairly easy um, solution to the problem. Can anybody spot the case that this wouldn't work so well? Yes? Uh, what happens if the buffer overflows at the access point for whatever reason the uh, Right, so um, that's a good question. Because it's already acknowledged. If the buffer overflows, would there not be acknowledgement sent back to? Yeah, so um, that's just still the, that's the standard for any wired TCP connection, right? That's right. No, the, the yeah, so that's, that's right. As soon as a packet, as soon as a packet arrives here, um, I guess uh, what would happen is uh, if there's no space in the buffer, which the access point should be able to tell in advance, uh, that packet's just dropped and not acknowledged. So that's that's not a problem, but you're on the right track. What's uh, anyone? Yes. Along those same lines, if you have a large number of mobile nodes, and then some very very, like you, there's no way you could have that reasonable buffer back for that compliance at the same time. Uh, yeah, that's a possibility, but that actually uh, so that uh, falls under the heading of congestion. So if uh, if you just interpret this as a router, and this has a, a as a node downstream of the router, and this guy has a buffer. If that buffer fills up and can't accept packets anymore, then that's just a form of congestion that would appear anywhere else. Yes? I've already sent back the acts, but what if I can't just, I can't get to the mobile node anymore? Excellent. So, um, if the mobile node is unreachable in this subnet, uh, the act has already been sent back. Um, so, if, uh, in other words, the access point can't drop those packets because if the access point drops those packets, they're gone for good. They can't be retransmitted by TCP. Uh, so when might that happen? Uh, handoff? Okay. Yeah. So handoff is a big pain in the ass here. Oh, you said turned off. Said turned off. Okay. <laughs> um, so presumably if you turn your device off, um, then you're okay with the connection being dropped. But uh, so, in other words, if you're downloading a big file and in the middle of that download you turn your device off, uh, presumably you're okay with the interruption. But if you hand off, if you move from this subnet to another subnet, um, 
now packets have arrived here already that they can't be delivered in. So the, uh, the, um, the network has to find a way to route basically the entire state of this access point to the new access point, including the entire contents of the buffer. Also, even if I did took the phone off, you acknowledgments and have reached the, the guy connecting Oh, I see, like uh, restarting, uh, like restarting the, uh, some download. Maybe something like the, basically the connection node thinks that I, I, I have the file, but I, I don't. That's a good point. Yeah. Um, so it's possible that if this buffer were sufficiently large, so for instance, if you were on iTunes and you just spent 99 cents on your file and you download it and it's you're a couple of you're a couple of packets short, but those packets have already been acknowledged by the access point. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. What if you stop the packet before it Like you said. So hopefully that wouldn't happen. Um, that's I mean every time there's a every time there's a handoff, regardless of what you're doing, there's a So that would that would be costly uh, any uh, any way you're doing it. Um, so if you're constantly being handed between two access points, I guess what would happen is both buffers would fill. Um, So in any case, um, handover is a big problem. So here's figure two. So if, here's your corresponding node. Corresponding node has sent a big pile of packets over here. The uh, your intermediary, your access point, is buffering those packets. But every packet that arrives in the access point's buffer is properly acknowledged by TCP. As a result, when you do this, uh, there's a whole bunch of packets still here waiting for you. So here's your TC here's your initial TCP connection. What the network has to do at this point is take the entire contents of this buffer and its socket state. So by socket state, it has to do it has to basically transfer the entire state of the TCP connection. Uh, none, none of this information can be lost, including sequence numbers, socket numbers, and everything else. The entire uh, state of the TCP connection has to be transferred over here. Otherwise, um, otherwise the connection as a whole is lost. So for, for example, if you're downloading a large file and this happened and not all of the connection, uh, not all of the uh, not all of the state could be communicated over here, uh, there's no recovery from that. There's no way to, there's no way to retransmit an acknowledged packet. 